Welcome back, this is Yamma Jack. Today we got Gunslinger, Suicidal, Burning Paris. We are almost 25 again, but we'll move back to hell on earth. And you hear that? You hear that? No? No, you don't you don't you don't you don't hear anything? There there was nothing happening. Exactly. No water sipping. I sipped before I hit record. I'm not saying that I'm a perfect YouTuber, but I'm saying I'm not too far. I'm saying I'm not too far. I might be uh, one of the most professional YouTubers in the world. I didn't start off with uh, water. Something fun's coming. I didn't start off with the basic human necessity. Why are people complaining about? Nobody's complaining about this. I'm the only one who's complaining about this. I, I don't think people really mind, <laughs> but it bothers me, man. It bothers me when I when I start the video and then I. I uh, I take a sip of water and I'm like, why couldn't I just do that before? Like, it's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world, but it's like, why are you doing this, dude? Why, why, are you, why are you doing it, man? Why are you doing it? Just do it better. Be better. Okay. Got D and D tomorrow, presumably. We haven't actually confirmed it, but everybody is available, and uh, I'm assuming that since we didn't play today, it's going to be tomorrow. I said we'll play it tomorrow. Nobody's really been like, okay, we'll do it tomorrow then. Um, so there, there hasn't been any official confirmation, but uh, everybody said they're available, and I said, okay, we'll do it. So I'm, uh, I'm under the assumption that it's happening. I, uh, I could be disappointed. I wouldn't be surprised. It's, it's not the first time that that's happened, and that's why I really want to make sure that I am uh, as, uh, as, as uh, direct as I can be. And by, uh, by I, I mean the other person who really manages all the scheduling, and it's really the MVP of the whole group. But... Uh, I said tomorrow, if, if people don't show up, you know, then that's their problem, and uh, I'll just play without them. This cat's back in the game. You know? Like, uh... Hey, uh... Hey, hey buddy, what are you gonna do to react to the skeleton that has come out of the crate? You're gonna just stand there and let your character be killed? Gotcha. Good choice. Okay, the skeleton kills you, and now you're dead. And they come back next time. What happened to my character? Oh, well, I thought that what you would do when a skeleton popped out of the sarcophagus is just stand there and let it kill you. That's that's what I thought your character would do. Uh, you know, if you, if you thought that it was wrong, then uh, you should have been there to, to make sure that uh, it went the way you wanted. I did the best I could personally as a DM, but unfortunately, I just I don't know the ins and outs of your characters. I thought that was the best move in the situation, and so that's what we did. Yeah, unfortunately, it was a TP. Yeah, you all just stood there and let the skeleton kill you. You just, you just. Stood. I thought that that's what your characters would do. That's that's what. Uh, from, you know, from from what I've seen of your characters, there's only two things that you're gonna do. You're either gonna sit there and let it kill you, or you're gonna find some innocent person to murder. Those are the only things I've seen you do thus far. And oh, I've also seen you try and like brute force your way through puzzles that are very simple. So those are the three things that I see you do. And, uh, you know, there was nobody innocent around to be, uh, to be murdered. Uh, there were no puzzles to mess up. And, uh, so I just let you die. I, I figured that's what your characters would do. Anyway, we got D&D tomorrow. I'm excited about that. I'm excited about that. Got a lot of stuff planned for it. We're finally, hopefully, getting into the stuff that I have planned for it anyway. Um, it's been, like, really slow going for the past, uh, little while because... Largely me, not being able to, to plan it out properly for them. Um, but then I also put a little bit of blame on the players for not being able to figure out the puzzles. I'm a little bit disappointed, but I don't know. I don't know if I, I don't know if I have to make the puzzles more complicated or easier. Is the thing because uh, I feel like I made the puzzles reasonably difficult, but they come up with even more convoluted ideas. So I'm like, I don't know if I have to make it easier for you guys, or if I have to find the most convoluted idea possible, or if I have to just like. Like, what I often do is I'll just create a puzzle, and then I'll just wait until they come up with a solution, and then just let that be the solution. Right, like there won't be a solution to the puzzle until you try something. And, uh, you know, I'll decide if, if that's a good enough solution or not at the time. Uh, that's what I often do for puzzles. Um, but if I make a puzzle, then it, it has a solution, and if you don't get it, then you don't get it. The puzzle doesn't change. The puzzle is there, you have to solve it. Solve it or don't. But uh, it's not going to change for you. You're not going to get any more clues. Um, you know, if it goes on a little bit too long, I might, uh, I might give you something. But it didn't. It didn't. Is the thing. It, uh, it, it, it rarely does. 
They just, um, they figure it out and then they ignore the solution. Is, uh, is, is a common problem with them, which is, uh, yeah, ultimately everybody's having fun. That's the, uh, the ultimate goal with, uh, with D&D, of course. Um, I was telling, I was talking to, uh, some clan mates in RuneScape about Dungeons and Dragons the other day. We were doing some, uh, some bossing or massing some boss, and I was, uh, I was telling them some stories about, uh, about uh, my characters in the past that I've had, and uh, they were all very interested. Many of them had not played Dungeons and Dragons before, or really seen anything about it. And I think I've uh, I've kind of interested them in in uh, in playing Dungeons and Dragons if they ever get the opportunity to. If if I wasn't already DMing for a group, I would totally DM for them and, and run a, a campaign for my clan. But I already like my time is is spent on uh, the group that I already have, so I don't really have the ability to do that. But um, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's fun. It's, it's really fun. If you guys haven't played D&D, &D, then I, I, like, super recommend that you do. It's, uh, it's a really, really, really fun thing to do. You don't have to be good at it. It's not something you have to be good at. It's just make-believe, but for adults. You know, it's make-believe with, uh, with a few rules, but the rules can be make-believed all you want. I make-believe rules all the time. I like to change things up, uh, a lot and not tell my players, because I like to make sure that they're, uh, I like to make sure that they uh, don't know what's going on. You know, I want I want to make sure that they uh, they know what the characters know. You know, some 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 basic rules can't be changed, obviously, but uh, some stuff in combat, some stuff in uh, with crafting, some stuff with uh, with any kind of puzzles or anything like that, like uh, uh, enemies, monsters. I always change up the uh, the stats on them so that uh, people are like, okay, well, it has like you know this much health, so we should we should be fine. They're like. Why is it still alive? It should be dead. I'm like, you have no idea what this monster is. You don't know anything about it. I got the I got the meta gaming down a little bit in the last session. That's a problem that my uh, my group has is a lot of meta gaming, um, which I got down in the last session to a better extent. But there was still a little bit that I kind of have to work on. I have to work on uh, motivating them and, and keeping them engaged as well a little bit better, I think, because uh, I feel like they... I don't feel like they're getting bored, necessarily, but I feel like they're uh, they are losing their focus to a certain extent after a while. I don't think that they're, they're bored, necessarily. I don't think that's the right word, but um, they're, uh, they're not quite fully engaged, you know? It's like uh, their thrusters are only half on, you know? Which is uh, which is a problem because I need them to be full on. I need them to be full throttle forward into the uh, into the campaign at all times. Um, heck yeah! I don't think I've ever gotten all the collectibles on this map. I will eventually. We might have like a, a run on this map where we do uh, like collectible hunting for it because that would be fun. Ouch! I can't believe I got shot out of the way so that the other one could hit me. Incredible performance from those husks. Incredible teamwork. Yeah, D and D's coming up. I'm excited about that. It's been uh, it's been a while since the last session because uh, some people are moving and like time zones are changing and stuff. And it's been uh, a bit tricky to like schedule it, but uh, we're finally we're finally having it happen. It's finally happening again, and uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to play. As per always, I wish I could play the game as a player rather than just as a DM, but, you know, you get what you get. Because it is a different kind of, it's a different game entirely. It's a different game entirely. Heck yeah, that was sick. It was a sh sick shot, dude. More sick shots. More sick shots. I still remember the first uh, Hell on Earth run I did as Gunslinger, ever. Uh, was on this map. I still remember that map. We killed the Abomination. It was a close fight. Nowadays, I look back at that and I'm like, oh, come on, dude. It was like nothing, but we were level like 16 or something at that time, so you know, I'll give it to myself. It was pretty good performance. I did, I did pretty good. Nowadays, I, I do Hell on Earth like it's nothing, but I've still got more improvements to go. I've still got uh, still got a lot of practice to put in. I don't put in as much anymore, obviously, because I don't play it as much. And I also just I don't know. Even if I did want to play it as much, I don't have the time. You know, it's kind of uh, fun. I've uh, I don't watch as much YouTube anymore, right? Um, I don't have the time for one. Uh, I uh, I spend 
you know, like all my time recording and, and editing like thumbnails and stuff and uh, streaming and then I have to also eat and sleep and, you know, use the washroom and shower and take care of myself and, you know, all these things that, uh, that are kind of getting in the way of me being able to uh, have uh, have time to watch YouTube, right? So, I, I like, in the first place, I, just, I don't have the time to watch it, really. But then after I've spent, like, my entire day recording and, like, you're going to come through there or you're going to go around. That's what I wanted. That way we get to explode you. That was a flawless KFP run. Proud. Proud. Proud right here. Heck yeah. <laughs> the juke at the end really uh, made that happen. Only suicidal, but you know what? I'll take it, man. I'll take it. It's, uh, it's a happy moment anyway. Uh, anyway, so I've got... Uh, like, after I've spent all day recording, right? I, uh... I just don't want to spend my time on YouTube anymore. Because it's like, you go to, uh... Like, you work at a full-time job somewhere. You have time to watch a lot of YouTube when you get home. Right? And I'm not working more than a full-time job. I'm working... Exactly as much as a full-time job. I have it pretty much got... Like, I pretty much got it down to a... Minute. You know? I'm working exactly eight hours a day, five days a week. Pretty much, you know? And, uh, and here come your first I still want to add more in. Um, so I have to make stuff a little bit more efficient, and uh, so I can save a little bit of time here and there to, to make sure that I can have it happen, but um, nevertheless, it's all good, it's all good. Um, yeah, anyway, I've, uh, I just haven't been watching a bunch of YouTube, which is uh, is sad because I like I look at my subscriber feed and it's just like or my my uh, my subscription feed anyway, and uh, it's just full of videos that I want to watch, you know. And I'm just like, I really want to watch this right now, but like I just I can't, I can't. Like I want I have uh, I have uh, I don't want to be at my computer anymore. So like, there's that. I want to be up and, and at it and doing other things other than being at my computer. Because I tell you, when you've been sitting at your computer for like eight hours, you don't want to do anything else on, on your computer for for, 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 for for any more time after that. You know, it's like that's that's your that's your allocated computer time. And I know that a lot of people spend more than that every day on their computer. And even I did um, before I started recording and even now because I still do play RuneScape and stuff after I finished a full day. Um, so I probably spend like 10 to 12 hours in front of a computer screen Monday to Friday. On the weekends, I, I spend less. Um, but Monday to Friday, definitely a lot of computer time, a lot of screen time, which is, uh, I'm not sure, maybe me, I, I'll have to look into, like, I don't know, I'll have to pay attention to myself to make sure that I'm not hurting my eyes and uh, make sure I have good posture and all of that to make sure that everything's going properly. Um, but I think it's fine. It's fine, dude. It's fine, man. It's fine. Bump that. Look look at that throw. Oh, well, they were all... Whatever. <laughs> oh, you can shoot these out. Nice. You can see in there even. Cool. I never, I've, never look, I've never looked at that. Um, but I don't have the time, man. Yeah, I want to watch them, and I just I can't. So many videos that I just want to... I used to be able to watch, like, a three-hour, like, uh, Critical Role video, and, like, a uh, three-hour NLSS, and, like... Also watch all the Iron Man and like RuneScape content that I watch and then like Nowadays, I'm like, oh, yeah, like I can pick like a few videos a day that I get to watch. <laughs> That's it. You know, I, just, I don't I don't have the time and uh, It's a good problem to have it's a good problem to have because it's not like I'm busy with a whole bunch of things that I don't want to be doing I'm busy with a whole bunch of things that I want to be doing so You know not to be braggadocious and Like well, I, I have less time than you, you know, like, no nah, I, I, I don't think it's really worth bragging about, um, but I don't have the time, man. I'm, I live a very busy life now. My birthday's coming up in five days. I plan to work on it. I plan to work on it. It's a weekday, and uh, right now, for me anyway, uh, my consistency with the streaming is more important to me than, uh, than than like going and celebrating my birthday the day of. I can just celebrate it on like Saturday or Sunday or whatever on my day off. Maybe next year I'll take a day off on my birthday. Um, just, you know, I like 
giving myself that day off, even if I don't celebrate my birthday necessarily. I like having the day off to just relax and have a nice excuse to, to sit back and uh, enjoy myself. I might even like do like a premiere thing on uh, on Twitch instead to, to have some kind of content um, going up. Uh, it just wouldn't be live content. Like Thursday, I think it's Thursday, but it's my birthday. Um, this year will be live content for sure. Um, but next year, maybe it'll be pre recorded. Um, and it'll just be like a premiere thing. You know? And uh, Thursdays are Ironscape. So I can just record me doing some quests or whatever on my, on my Iron Man and uh, commentating over it. And then uh, upload that to Twitch as, uh, as the Thursday stream instead. And then take the day off. Uh, which could be nice. I'm not sure. Well, it's a year. It's literally almost exactly a year away. I will I will think about it next year. And it'll depend on the viewers and whether people are okay with that. And people will be okay with that because that's the kind of audience that I want to uh, to build. Is the kind of audience that's going to be supportive of my decisions to to make my life easier. Which uh, which so far is is definitely true. You guys are fantastic. Whenever I talk about wanting to do things, you're always. And everybody's always very uh, positive and uh, accepting of me wanting to sacrifice the quality of the channel at the expense, or sacrifice, uh, improve the quality of my life at the expense of the quality of the channel. You know, my life is more important after all. Um, you know, not to push myself to do something that I don't want to just because it would be good for, for viewership or whatever. And um, You know, going forward, maybe next year I'll be able to take a break on my birthday, but this week I'm not going to be. I don't really mind it so much, honestly. It's not that big a deal. It would be nice to have it off, to be able to not work on it, but, you know, I, uh, it would be nicer to be able to get that consistency and then grow my channel as a, as a streamer and a YouTuber as well, so. There isn't really a right answer there, right? It's not, uh, oh, I thought that it would make it. I thought I would make it. There isn't really a right answer. There's no, uh, there's no right answer. I'd like it either way, and so I figure... The one that'll give me the most uh, growth and the most potential for uh, like independence in the future with this is, is probably the right answer since I prefer both pretty much equally. That's my uh, that's my thoughts on it anyway. I do hear another. Yeah, <laughs> I heard you. I heard you. I heard you, dude. Um. So yeah, I've got uh. I got a worry about that. But it's my birthday coming up in five days. I believe it is on Thursday. So, I don't know. Next year's probably not going to be on Thursday. It'll be on, like, uh, what, Tuesday? I don't know how to tell what day, like, how it changes each year. It's not a leap year, though, I don't think, right? So, yeah, no, it's 2021. That's not a leap year, so. 365 days. I have no idea how that would affect. So, uh, so yeah, let, let's, let's try and, let's try and figure this out, okay? Let's, let's try and see if we can figure out, uh, what day it would be, okay? So you got uh, 12 months in a year, right? Each of those months has... So you got, well, how many weeks are there in a year? I don't know, 52? 52 weeks in a year? But how many days is that, right? So 52 times... So there's 52 weeks in one day. Each year. Right? So uh, September 10th, uh, 2020 is exactly 52 weeks and one day away from September 10th, 2021. So it should be on a Friday. To move one day ahead each year, I guess. Right? Because 50, if it's 52 weeks, then that's uh, 364, which would be just one day short of, uh, of a year. So it'd be plus one, right? Right? I mean, I guess we can do the calculations there. 365, yeah. I mean, yeah, so, so my birthday next year should be on a Friday. Does it move one day forward each year? That sounds wrong to me, though. Hold up. <laughs> what day is September 10th, 2021? September 10th, 2021 falls on a Friday. Okay. I guess that's right. So it moves forward one day each year, except for leap years where it would move forward two days. Cool. So I've, I've, I've figured that out, I guess. I guess I can figure out what day each day is going to be as long as I know what day it is this year. That's cool. 
plus one day. I've never, I guess that may be common knowledge because most people might know that after 25 years of living. Uh, I did not. <laughs> I've, I've, uh, I've learned it for the first time today. And now that I think about it, it's like horribly obvious, but I don't know. I just, uh, I never, I uh, never thought about it, you know? It's never relevant being able to, to figure that out, but now that I know it, I know it. Plus a day, except for leap years when it's plus two days, unless it's before the leap day, in which case it's, uh, uh, if you get the extra day in February, if you get February 29th, you add an extra day, because you get that extra day, you know? Simple. Simple. You gonna shoot me? You gonna shoot me? You gonna shoot me? He wasn't gonna shoot me. He wasn't gonna shoot me. He didn't want to shoot me. He wanted to be uh, passive until the moment he didn't want to be passive anymore. And I don't support that. It's a bit of a bait and switch, but... It's okay. We, uh... I don't support it, but I, uh, I can accept it. If, uh, if that's the life that you want to leave, live, then uh, that's the life that you want to live, and that's just how it goes. You've let the area get breached. It's up there, right? You've let the area get breached. I don't care, dude. I'm impressed by your it doesn't matter, man. There. Yeah, so we're on the same plane as it now, and it's good. I've never really learned how the traitor thing works, but I have now. I do understand how it works now. I understand it. It's got the uh, thing there, and it says like over this way, because it's on the same plane. And then we go up, it's saying down, you know. And then if we go down, it's saying up. I've never learned that before, but now I know it. Learn all kinds of things in this episode. We're learning about the years. We're learning about how days work. We're learning about how the trader tracker works. We're learning about all kinds of cool things, man. It's an exciting episode. Look, I didn't say there wouldn't be any uh, water at all. Just that we weren't starting with water. Okay, very different things. I still have to uh, saturate my throat. I still have to uh, hydrate. You're not. You're not hitting me. You're not. You're, it's not. It's not happening. This. This one will happen. I love the matriarch because you can just phase her constantly, and then she just has no way of doing anything. It's. It's amazing on suicidal anyway as gunslinger. She just. She can't do anything. You know? It's so funny. I used to find her hard. I used to think she was the hardest boss in the game. Little did I know. I'm feeling generous. She's just a little baby. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, oh my. Any who's any what's it's that is going to do her for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.